Okay. Because they had so many kids, we like to teach about pioneer games and things. Mm -hmm. We have uh, milking bears right here. Mm -hmm. This would help kids learn how to milk cows. So you just take both strings and you go right, left, right, and right. Oh, wow. And it goes up. <laughs> okay. If you want to, you can race uh, against a partner, right? Like that. <laughs> so that was a fun little game that actually taught them something useful to be used in life. Mm -hmm. uh, over here we have how pioneers would wash their laundry. So, I mean, I was whittling something. No problem. But uh, right here, see, they would have their laundry. It might be, you know, a Sunday shirt. So I just come here and I get some soap on it and scrub and wet it again and scrub. And then once it was clean, I just squeeze it out. Mm -hmm. And then we've got these irons. These would be made of metal okay. and they would be right next to the fire to get hot. So that way I could dry out my shirt wow. and just iron it like that. And once that was done, mm -hmm. I just take a pin. Okay. So that's how they would wash their laundry in a, a few of the games. And we have stilts over here. Mm -hmm. Stilts were just another kind of fun game. Mm -hmm. And then the original cabin, as I said, 150 years old, oh, wow. and it kind of shows how small the space was and what kind of things they could have done. You see the milky bear here, uh, they would have used that. We have a butter churner here, so when you milk a cow, you separate the cream and the milk, you put the cream in there, and you just do that until it becomes butter. Uh, that's one of their chores that, that the kids would do. You have this weird looking thing, this is called a bed key. Now this would be used to tighten up the bed, because beds okay. back then had rope on the bottom, and that I would see. keep everything up. So I'd have to find the knot, and then start tightening the rope, otherwise if you got too low to the ground, bugs could hop in my bed. <laughs> so I needed to make sure that it was nice and tight, and then okay. I could just put this all back here nice and neat. And the only people allowed to sleep on the bed were the parents. Now they had ten children. Mm -hmm. That was seven boys and three girls. All the boys slept outside. Now, oh really? If it, was, if it was cold outside, they could go upstairs into a loft. There's a okay. ladder on the other side of the house. Uh -huh. They could go upstairs and sleep in there, but it was so small. You just crawl in, you fall asleep, you wake up, and crawl out. Okay. And then the three girls would sleep next to the fire to keep warm, but the only people allowed on the bed were the parents. I see. I'm not as tidy as uh, my partner out there. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. And uh, another just interesting thing right here, these candles. Now, in the pioneer days, they would have either made candles like this, or they would have had a candle holder. And that's because when they made candles, it was really expensive mm -hmm. to make them just out of wax. So they would mix animal fat in. That would make them a little bit cheaper and they would still burn bright. But you'd have to hang them from the ceiling or mm -hmm. put them in a candle holder. Otherwise, the rats and mice would come and eat them because of the animal fat. So okay. that's, that's a fun little fact. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just a, a, a nice fireplace, some kind of furniture. Uh, to just really give you a sense of what the period is like. Okay. 